I'm home. Time now to take a look at harness racing last night at Mooney Valley. Four favourites home from the nine race card. In the first event, the seven o'clock stakes, the favourite here was Swisher Nova. Sparebow out three wide going forward. Katari Lou comes out in front of him. Sparebow broke up at that point. He's out of his gear. Missed about six metres there. Followed by International Bird coming one off the fence. Going forward, J.R. Ewing four wide. So Sparebow five wide on the turn. Then to Dark One, Zadaviros and Asian Johnny. Swishing over though, straightens up two metres in front of Loud and Cute sticking on. Katari Lou, frontier fighter, can't get a run. J.R. Ewing running home fairly well. Swishing over though, clear in the concluding stages. And far too good. Swishing over leads all the way scores by three meters a dead heat for second loud and cute and frontier fighter swish and over too good in the first at five to four from frontier fighter fives and loud and cute 25s in the second the favorite here at seven to four and very heavily backed was dancing pebble Good line there, racing. Tizimus out wide began quickly with Michael Manley. Dancing Pebble trying to hold them out and Keeling going forward. So is Sir Rival and Nick Wistar. They've headed off Dancing Pebble early. Tizimus goes to an early lead from Sir Rival. Nick Wistar racing wide, followed by Dancing Pebble and Keeling. In behind them, Michael Manley, followed by Flying Looney, Diamond Magic, Springfield Raja, and two metres away, Henry Bruce. Along the back in the first second, Tizimus in front by a metre. Two Sir Rival the outside now taking on the mare and looking for the lead. Five metres away, Keeling on the outside of Dancing Pebble. In behind them came Michael Manley the fence and working up as Nick Wistar as Sir Rival draws two metres in front. Off Tizimus coming off the back, followed by Flying Looney. Then Diamond Magic from Springfield Raja and three metres away Henry Bruce. Sir Rival now crosses Tizimus coming off the back the first time. Racing third, Dancing Pebble Keeling fourth without cover. From second last, now here's Springfield Raja out three wide going forward. Michael Michael Manley back on the fence, followed by Nick Wistar, then Flying Looney, Diamond Magic second last, and two metres away, Henry Bruce. A thousand to go, they've gone quickly. Sir Rival, four metres in front of Tizimus and Springfield Raja racing wide going forward. Dancing Pebble creeping up on the fence, he's had a nice run, followed by Keeling on the outside, then Michael Manley, in behind them Nick Wistar from Flying Looney, Diamond Magic second last, and last is Henry Bruce. Out of the straight, at the 750, Sir Rival, four metres in front of on the outside Springfield Raja Dancing Pebble locked away third Tism is fourth after working early Michael Manley fifth on the inside Keeling the outside followed by Flying Looney Nick Wistar Henry Bruce second last and last is Diamond Magic at the 500 though Sir Rival two metres in front of Springfield Raja now called upon on the outside works up within a metre of the leader in third placing Tism is and back on the rail Dancing Pebble Keeling asked to go forward followed by Michael Manley as Springfield Raja draws a metre in front of Sir Rival on a turn. In behind them, Flying Looney, followed by Henry Bruce and Nick Wistar. And Diamond Magic is back at the tail. But Springfield Raja broke away at the top of the straight. He's four metres in front of Tizimus. Is out after Springfield Raja, followed by Keeling. Flying Looney on the outside. Springfield Raja, three metres in front. He's getting weary. Tizimus, Keeling, Flying Looney are trying to pick him up. But Springfield Raja gets home at nice odds by three metres. Maybe Flying Looney second, a nose to Tizimis, Keeling close up from Henry Bruce, then Diamond Magic, in behind them Michael Manley, followed by Dancing Pebble third last, Sir Rival knocked up second last, and last in was Nick Wistar. Springfield Raja at 8-1, to one, taking out the second event from Flying Looney 10s, Tizimis 9-2, to two, and the favourite Dancing Pebble unplaced at 7-4. to four. In the Sire Stakes Prelude, race number three, the favourite here, Lohman, at 7-4 to four on. Ready, racing. Kim's percentage easing out of it early. Low man away quickly with Windshield Star looking for the lead. Ida Mac is trying to hold out. Low man the turn coming up. Low man being hard driven draws four metres in front and crosses Ida Mac. Windshield Star caught fourth on the outside of another Walbro early, followed by Kim's percentage. Paul Michael back on the fence, working up Kim's percentage, followed by Austin Bay. Then Ho Toy from Seeking Glory and two metres away, I'm a Loudon. Low man in front along the back of the 1550 by five metres to Ida Mac. Another Walbro racing third. Fourth without cover, Windshield Star and back on the fence, Paul Michael. Kim's percentage, one out with the trail. Ho Toy back on the fence, followed by Austin Bay. I'm allowed in second last and up on the outside seeking glory. At the 1250, low man clear by five metres to Ida Mac. Five metres away third is another Walbro and caught without cover, Windshield Star. Kim's percentage with the perfect trail. Back on the fence, Paul Michael. Working up as Austin Bay outside Ho Toy and the last pair are I'm allowed 
Loudon on the inside of Seeking Glory. They wheel around the turn a thousand to go. Low Man's at a nice front up in front. By four metres to wider Mac with a perfect sit. A sulky's length away. Windshield Star on the outside. In behind them came another Walbro fourth. Kim's percentage every chance in the run. Followed by Paul Michael. Four back on the fence. Two metres to Austin Bay. Third last Seeking Glory from Ho Toy. And I'm allowed in last. 800 metres out. Low Man held together by three metres to on the outside windshield star. He's raced without cover for the entire journey. He works up now within two metres of Low Man, who's being held together in front. Ida Mac is racing third. Kim Percentage fourth on the outside, followed by another Walbro, then Austin Bay. In behind them came Paul Michael from Seeking Glory, I'm Aladdin, and Ho Toy is last. At the 550, though, Low Man is a metre in front of windshield star on the outside. Ida Mac still racing third, followed by Kim Percentage now three wide going forward. In behind them came another Walbro, followed by Austin Bay. Well back as Paul Michael seeking glory. I'm a Loudon and Ho Toy. 2.20 out on the turn. Low man a metre in front of Windshield Star now called upon. Kim's percentage out three wide making ground. Then Ida Mac followed by another Walbro. Low man a metre in front. Windshield Star can't pick it up. Kim's percentage running home fairly well. Low man though, he's giving plenty with 50 metres to go. He's too good for these. Low man, very impressive type. Wins by five metres on the outside. Kim's percentage has run second. A neck in front of Ida Mac. Windshield Star has run fourth. Then Paul Michael from Ho Toy. In behind them came Austin Bay from I'm Allowed and another Walbro. And last in was Seeking Glory. Favourite too good for them, Low Man. Seven to four on from Kim's percentage at eights and Ida Mac 11 to two. In race four, the favourite here, Brad's advice at seven to four. All set. Racing. Janarine began quickly with Deke's Neptune. Spanish Perfume splitting that pair. In behind them, Aaron's Idol booting through. Bullman out wide going forward. Then Brad's Advice, followed by How's That Lady Super Tinge. In behind them came Racy Royline and 12 metres away, Introspect. A line of three nearly out of the straight. Deke's Neptune now heads off Aaron's Idol. Janarine works out to be second. Bullman now fourth and one out, followed by Spanish Perfume. Racy Royline back on the fence, followed by Brad's Advice up on the outside. Then How's That Lady from Super Tinge and eight metres away introspect. Halfway down the back in the first circuit. Deeks Neptune in front by five metres to Janarine. Racing third the fence Aaron's Idol followed by Bullman one out. Here's the favourite now Brad's advice. He's three wide going forward. Spanish Perfume on the outside of Racy Royline followed by How's That Lady. Super Tinge is second last and six metres away introspect. At the 1150 Brad's advice the favourite three wide going forward and up in front Deeks Neptune by three metres to Janarine. Brad's advice going forward, making ground. Aaron's idle back on the fence. Then Bullman one out, followed by Racy Royline. In behind them came Spanish Perfume, followed by How's That Lady. From second last, now Introspect is three wide going forward. And Super Tinge is last. A circuit to go. Brad's advice works up within a neck of Deke's Neptune. Out of the straight, the final time. Here's Spanish Perfume now from fourth last, three wide going forward. Janarine racing fourth on the outside of Aaron's idle. Then Bullman the centre, Spanish Perfume three wide. Racy Royline back on the fence. How's that lady trailing Spanish perfume? Super tin second last and four metres away. Introspect along the back, 600 out. Brad's advice the favourite now drove to the lead. Deeks Neptune can't go on. Janarine gets to second. Spanish perfume out three wide. Is that after Brad's advice at the 450? Going home fairly well out four wide. How's that lady? Then Bullman followed by Aaron's idol. In behind them, Racy Royline followed by Super Tins. Then Introspect and dropping out Deeks Neptune. 250 out though on the turn. Brad's advice, he's three metres in front. The danger, Aaron's idle hard up on the leader's back. Spanish perfume, three wides under pressure. Then Janarine, plenty of room now for Aaron's idle. He's out after Brad's advice at the top of the straight. Brad's advice, two metres in front. Aaron's idle on the outside drawing to him. He's doing a little bit the better Aaron's idle. Brad's advice is trying to go with him. Aaron's idle with that great run from the top of the straight. Draws away and Aaron's idle wins. Two metres to Brad's advice. Six metres away, third was Bullman. Then Spanish Spanish perfume from Janarine. In behind them, how's that lady? Followed by Racy Royline, super tinge introspect. And last in was Deke's Neptune. Aaron's Idol at 13 to 4, taking out the fourth event from Brad's advice, 7 to 4 in favourite, and Bullman at 20 to 1. We'll be back with a clash of the big names in race 5 in just a moment. We've seen a whole lot of champions in Australia on NEC. Australia's champion colour TV. Seen them run, swim and fall, seen them hit and do it all. NEC, our champion colour TV. 
From the Champs in Colour TV comes a knockout selection of portables, like this handy little all-rounder. See the whole range of NEC's affordable portables at your retailer now, and you'll see why NEC is leading the field. NEC, a champion colour TV. Hey, Joe, Brian needs a hand. OK. Oh, sure hope the owner's with SIO. Our car insurance is all the same. SIO's different. The woman there explained why agreed value is better. Most companies only pay out market value. That's often much less. SIO make it so simple even you could understand it. Hey. Victorian road, Victoria's on the SIO. They're OK. When a runny nose has you running out of tissues, or you're squeezed by congestion, or steamed with fever, or weighed down with aches and pains. Take Orthoxicol cold and flu capsules. Orthoxicol has four ways to relieve cold and flu symptoms in a single capsule without leaving you drowsy. This winter, don't suffer the symptoms, relieve them with Orthoxicol. Remember, colds and flu or Orthoxicol. Did you know that 40% of all men over the age of 21 suffer from hair loss? And of those who actively do something about it, more visit Advanced Hair Studios than just about any other organisation in the world today. Advanced Hair Studios have become one of the world's largest hair replacement companies because of their patented follicular fusion. This hair replacement program can be implemented gradually and requires no surgery whatsoever. The program was first developed in Miami, Florida, where continual research is undertaken. Advanced Hair Studios are associated with outlets throughout the world with over 25 studios and over 50,000 people who have sought advice in Australia alone. So, chances are you know someone who is a client of Advanced Hair Studios. Australia's and one of the world's largest hair replacement companies. So don't wait until it's too late. Phone Advanced Hair Studios now. Judy, what's wrong with you? Tuesday in a country practice. I've been working half my life and what have I got to show for it? Nothing. When I'm old, I want a home of my own. And the matron encounters one of Wandon Valley's homeless. Ralph, can't you understand? We're trying to help you. Yeah. Well, you've brought me a new guest, have you? Joe's looking for a job. I hear you're looking for a plumber's mate. And an old horse faces the glue factory. I'll knock four hundred dollars off in Bill if you give me that horse. It's wonderful work experience, country practice. 7.30 Tuesday on 7. Victoria Harness Race 5 at Mooney Valley, the Victoria Harness Racing, Racing Club Classic, a big field and the favourite here, Morgan at 6-4. to four. Young Pride is trying to kick up with its Frederick and also O'Tiny the Bolter. Game Oro, though, flying out of the straight the first time, now crosses. Brad Marlin works up on the outside. Bag Limit Racing 3 wide. Morgan restrained, caught wide out of the straight. He'll be second last in a stride with Vanderport one off the fence. Lincoln Storm back on the rail and Corfu is third last. At the 1600, Game Oro in front by four. Four metres to Brad Marlin, Otani gets the third. Fourth and one out early as it's Frederick and Bag Limit three wide going forward. On the fences, Lincoln Storm, two metres to Young Pride. In behind them, Corfu, Vanderport second last and Morgan the tail ender at the 1300. And Game Oro in front, he's gone fairly quickly early by four metres to Bag Limit. He's working around the outside wide. Easing now for the one out trail, Brad Marlin. Back on the fence, Otani. It's Frederick as three back on the outside, followed by Lincoln Storm on a loose rein. Four metres to Young Pride, six metres away Corfu, and the popular pair of second last and last, Vanderport and Morgan, some 30 metres off the leader Game Morrow with a circuit to go a thousand metres out, from second last now, Vanderport going forward Morgan trailing him, and Game Morrow up in front by two metres to Bag Limit, he's worked the first circuit two metres away, third Otani Brad Marlin fourth after working early Lincoln Storm fifth on the inside then it's Frederick, Vanderport three wide, one off the fence, Young Pride Morgan second last out of the straight on the back of Vanderport and six metres away Corfu, 6.50 out Gay Morrow held together three metres in front of Bag Limit followed by Otani, in behind them came Brad Marlin, it's Frederick now goes to the outside three wide, Vanderport four wide, Young Pride one off the fence followed by Lincoln Storm, Morgan second last coming off the back of the 4.50 and Corfu back of the tail 400 out though coming off the back Gay Morrow two metres in front holding Bag Limit for the moment followed by Otani not going well. It's Frederick out three wide, followed by Brad Marlin. In behind them, four metres away, Vanderport, but Game Morrow raced away on the turn. In behind them, Young Pride, followed by Lincoln 
Storm Corfew and Morgan has last, but Gay Mora raced away at the 150. He's six metres in front. Bear Glimmer on the outside is out after him. Gay Mora three metres in front. Bear Glimmer slowly but surely bridging the gap. Gay Mora hanging on near the line. And Gay Mora is won by a metre and a half to Bear Glimmer. Four metres away third. May have been Brad Marlin just in front of its Frederick and Vanderpont. Then Young Pride from Corfew Otani. Morgan was never sighted second last and last in was Lincoln Storm. Well, he's a brilliant horse at his best game. Oro 7 to 1 coming right away to beat Bag Limit at 9 to 2 by a metre and Brad Marlin at 20 to 1 and the favourite unplaced Morgan at 6 to 4. In race 6, the popular pick here was John Gilbert. John Gilbert second last, followed by Fairlane Park and Cavanda Banner back of the tail. Good finish coming up on the turn, 2.50 out. Eastern Romance two metres in front. Brett Navarra flat, followed by Highly Likely three wide making ground. Chauvinist held up from well presented. John Gilbert can't win from take a shot on our Sylvania. At the top of the straight, Eastern Romance three metres in front of Brett Navarra. Highly Likely on the outside is making some ground, followed by well presented the outside. Eastern Romance though in front near the line. And Eastern Romance is won by three metres. Maybe well presented on the outside. Second and nose to Chauvinist. Close up, Brett Navarra. Eastern Romance at seven to two, taking out the Trotters from well presented at eights and Chauvinist sevens. John Gilbert unplaced. In the seventh event, Smooth Falcon was slightly uh, warm favourite here. 25 to one on. Then Cape J, Boogie Be Gone, followed by Golden Action, Ben Tai and Tempest Neva. But he is absolutely flying, Smooth Falcon. By golly, will he run some time? 2.20 out. Smooth Falcon, he straightens up 25 metres in front of Seek and Hanover. 15 metres away, Glen Tucky, followed by Easy Mark. But Smooth Falcon racing right away. Welcome back, Falcon. He's a mile too good. Smooth Falcon bolts in, scores by 20 metres to Seek and Hanover. 10 metres away, third was Glen Tucky. Well, as Brian Markovic said, he did run some time. A new class and track record. 25s on Smooth Falcon, 30 second Hanover, 25s Glen Tucky. In race eight, the favourite here was who? Tara Country Flat, followed by Shy Alto. Marika's Dream, half out of its gear, followed by Shy Spinnaker. Euphoria, three wide, making ground. Who won off the fence, still held up from Ardina, Valrose and Lauraville. Last not going well. 2.20 out on the turn. Princess Expo, four metres in front of Shy Alto. Down the outside, Euphoria, making ground. She's coming quickly, Euphoria. She's out after Princess Expo. Shy Alto going with Euphoria. Shy Alto grabbing the lead near the line, and Shy Alto has one by a metre to Euphoria. Third placing Shy Spinnaker just in front of Princess Expo. Shy Alto at nines, Euphoria five, Shy Spinnaker at fifteens and it, it was a case of where with who and placed at two to one. In the last Rapid Elk, the favourite odds are pot. Rapid Elk now called the ponies out three wide. General Correspondence out four wide. Then Gold Gem followed by Dory Sun and Bert Butler. Around the turn though with a 220. Batic Print a metre in front of winning victory. Rapid Elk under pressure out wide making ground from Adla Alto. At the 120 Batic Print in front but Rapid Elk has quickly grabbed them half foot down the straight. He's racing away now Rapid Elk. Interest only in the minors. There's a wall of them but Rapid Elk racing away scores by six metres. Second place Placing Kentucky George, a good runner, half head in front of Gold Gem, also a good run. Then winning victory, close up Adler Alto, Bert Butler, general correspondence. Rapid Elk 5 to 4 on, and uh, that was the winner of the last event as we check now the doubles. Extra 9 and 1, $20.35. Daily double 4 and 6, $14.95. The quaddy on 9, 4, 1 and 6, $446.30. That's all from World of Sport replay. The Sydney Swans and Fitzroy at 5 past 2. World of Sport coming up now. All my gear from Opal Southland, and we wish you lots of winners in the week to come. World of Sport replay was another 7 Sport presentation. Another day in Melbourne.